Hello, my people. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Um, this is your channel once again, um, Bosman channel, where you learn, uh, you love, and you live. Um, we try as much as possible to learn on this channel. Uh, we try as much as possible to live, which is very important, you know, um, and most especially to uh, express uh, love. You know, looking back, uh, I remember a particular time, and maybe I, I will be able to dwell more or expatiate on, on this particular uh, topic, maybe in the future. Uh, but it was a time where I was praying for something. Uh, and as a young chap back then, I'm still very young, I believe, but as a very young child back then, you read in your Bible how you can, you know, ask for the will of God uh, to happen. But on the other hand, you can also um, pray and ask for whatever you 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 want. And at this point, I needed something very badly. I wanted it very badly. Um, I wanted it so much uh, that sometimes, you know, I cry uh, to sleep, you know, sometimes all day I'm unhappy. And I would go outside to pray at night. And I would remember that I can pray for God's will to be done, but I wouldn't want to pray that prayer. I, I would always be asking God, you know, let this be done. <laughs> I want it done. You know, you said we should ask, um, you know, and we shall receive, you know, uh, that you grant all the desires of our heart. And for a span over two years, I was dwelling on this thing, crying and saying, God, give me. And it's not bad to pray like that. To pray like that is not bad at all. And it's not bad to dwell on what you want. So let's leave religion. Um, we all do it in one way or the other. We dwell on something that we're looking for. The problem for me back then at the point is that I discovered I couldn't move on. And I remember that night, I can remember vividly, that I was going to where I was going to pray again. I repeat the same prayer of God, you must get it done. And it was difficult for me that day I struggled, but through that struggle, I changed my prayers to God. <laughs> you know, let your will be done. And again, let's leave religion. Um, sometimes we are at a position where we are fixated on one particular thing. That's what we want, and we dwell on it. The problem is that we are stuck on what spot, and we are able to move forward. Um, but maybe sometimes it's necessary for us to drop those things, you know, to let go. This is what I think I did at that point, to let go and let God. And this is when I started getting a little bit of release, you know. This is when I discovered that I was able to move on. This is when I discovered that, you know, options started. I said seeing, seeing options that I wasn't seeing before. And I said moving forward a little bit. What am I saying today? Maybe this is a time that you need to let go and let God. Maybe this is a time that you need to, you know, leave that thing, you know, stop holding to what, is holding you back. Maybe this is time to let go and maybe you'll be able to move forward. There's always better things, greater things ahead for us. There's always a lot of things that we can achieve. Holding to one thing or holding to past will prevent us from getting to that spot. So let go and let God. And I believe something new is about to happen. Thank you for listening. 
Till we meet again, keep doing great things. Thank you.